name is Marie and welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, it's great to have you here. And if you enjoy watching my videos, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos. In today's video, I have prepared for you meringue. I love meringue. When I was little, I remember eating them and my favorite color was pink. In my country, we call them pusinki. And I heard people call them here kisses. And that's exactly the same. Meringue is a type of dessert or candy, traditionally made from whipped egg whites and sugar and occasionally an acidic ingredient such as lemon, vinegar or cream of tartar. There is different kind of meringues which is Italian, Swiss or French meringue. And today I'm making French meringue. I got new piping nozzle and it's called Sultan and I really wanted to try it. And today is the day it's gonna happen. I made meringue before and they looked and tasted good. I took them to work and my colleagues really liked them and that made me feel really good. So I hope I will be successful today and they will come up perfectly the way I want them to be. You can also make pavlova dessert, which I love as well, with fresh cream and fruits. In the last video, I was talking about coming from Catholic background to finding Jesus. Today I would like to share with you how Jesus made a way for me to go to Israel. I like to call it a miracle I have received from God. So let's get started. When I accepted Christ into my life and in my heart, I started to read the Bible for the first time and I was so in love with Jesus. I was desperate to know everything about him. I wanted to go to Israel and basically I needed him desperately. I could read the Bible for hours and the New Testament was so real to me. I could imagine everything happening in my head and I wasn't tired of it. Then I found uh, the church which I am still in and it's gonna be eight years in March since I came to the church and I was taking step by step and one day I came to the church and I was there for about two months I think and our pastor was um, doing announcements and Suddenly he just said there will be trip to Israel and I was absolutely shocked. I mean that was exactly what I was praying for to go to Israel and I was so overwhelmed and I didn't know what to do. <laughs> the only thing I could do is cry. I put my name down for the trip and even though I knew there is no way I could afford to go with my wages, but you know what? I did it in faith. A few months passed and I was thinking to myself, I would be able to pay all the money for the trip next month. And that was my plan. I had all calculated and unfortunately that didn't happen and I was absolutely devastated and the reason why all this mess happened was because I meant to move in with one of the sisters from our church but the one day before we supposed to move in together she said she can't do it and I could pay less rent travel and most important, importantly pay my trip. I was so upset. I felt like she ruined 
everything that I was praying for. I went to see my pastor. I told him I won't be able to go. And he said to me, Marie, pray. Remember your testimony. You said you are going to Israel. And he said to me, believe it. And so I did. I took in all that my pastor said and I believed I would go and see Jesus' birthplace. It was only three months before the trip and two weeks to pay the trip and I still didn't have the money. When I went for morning prayer and I prayed and cried, I said to Jesus, if you want me to go, please make a way for me. You can do anything because nothing is impossible for you. And when I was leaving, one of our pastors called me in the office and he said, Marie, the leader of our fellowship was asking about you. And I was like, really? What did he say? And he said, well, he asked if we can help you somehow so you can go to Israel. And I was like, my heart started beating really fast. I was like, well, I can pay every month something. And he said, well, I'll give you my email and you write everything what you can do. So I sent him email, uh, what I can do. And then he sent me a message. Yes, we can do that. And I was absolutely crazy happy. I was jumping up and down. I was just so happy and it was the best time ever because I celebrated my 31st birthday in Israel and it was the best birthday I ever had. Never stop believing and praying. Nothing is impossible for God. That's all I have for you today and I hope I'm going to see you next time. God bless.